In this lecture, we will cover radioactivity. Now, before we start with radioactivity, we will discuss about different types of atoms from elements based on the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons. The first one uh, is isobars. So, what are they? They are the atoms of different elements which have the same mass number but different atomic number. For example, hydrogen 3 1 and helium 3 2. So, if you have calculated the uh, mass number, so it's the proton and the number of neutrons. So, they give total as 3 and for helium it is also 3. So, they have the same mass number but different atomic number. Atomic number is 2 and 1. So, we say isobars. Isodaphers, what are they? So, when you have uh, atoms of different elements which have the same number of difference of their neutrons and protons. So, when you calculate the number of protons minus the number of protons, neutrons and number of protons and if the two elements they have the same number of difference in the number of neutrons and protons, we say it's isodiapers. For example, boron 11,5 and carbon 13,6. If you calculate the number of proton and neutron, their difference, for both the case, this is 1. So, we say that this pair of atoms are called isodiapers. Isotonic or isotones, they are the atoms of different elements having the same number of neutrons. That means that for hydrogen 3,1 and helium 4,2, number of neutrons are 2. So, we say they are called the isotones. Isostars, they are the molecules which have the same number of atoms and electrons. So, for carbon dioxide and N2O, you have the number of atoms. For carbon dioxide is 3 and for N2O it's 3. That is the number of atoms. 1 carbon, 2 oxygen, you have 1 nitrogen, uh, 2 nitrogen, 1 oxygen. And if you calculate the number of electrons for all the atoms present here, for CO2 you have 22 electrons and for N2O you have 22 electrons. So, this pair of molecules have the same number of atoms and electrons. So, we say they are isostars. Isoelectronic species, they are atoms, molecules or ions which have the same number of electrons. Means that if you consider chlorine which has got the atomic number or number of electrons is 17 but if you have Cl minus the number of electrons is 18 and argon we have number of electrons is 18 so Cl minus and argon these two molecules and uh, atoms and species of ions are uh, they have the same number of electrons so we say it's isoelectronic species. Now, as I said that this lecture is will be on based on radioactivity. So, before we discuss radioactivity, we discuss about different types of elements based on the number of neutrons and protons. Now, what are radioactivity? Radioactivity are certain unstable nucleus or atoms of elements which undergoes a process of continuously emission of radiation. And when they emit this phenomena is called radioactivity. And uh, the substance which undergo this phenomena of radioactivity, that means giving out radiations, they are called the radioactive substance. It was first discovered by Baccarat and later on there were many other radioactive substances which were discovered by Marie, uh, Marie Curie, Perry Curie. The unit for radioactivity is called Baccarat and for another unit for radioactivity is Curie. Now before uh, we, uh, the different types of radiations, that means when an unstable nucleus undergo radi uh, radioactivity, that means different types of radiations have been emitted. And that has been proved by Rutherford in an experiment, which he showed he has taken an unstable nucleus, a radioactive substance in a lead box, where lead actually absorbs all the radiations. And he kept an opening where the radiations or the particles are being uh, ejected or uh, emitted. And he found that in the lead box was actually placed in an electric field where the right hand side was a positive and the left hand side was negative potential. And there were three types of radiations being observed. One, the, the rays were, some rays were deflected towards the positive terminal, some rays were deflected towards the negative and some rays undergoes, did not undergo any deflection so it moves straight. So, the one which deflected towards 
A positive is called the beta ray. Generally, it's it's a negatively charged particles, and the one which is deflected towards the negative, that is alpha rays. Usually, they are positively charged particles, and the other one which is neutral called the gamma rays. So, the the radioactivity may undergo with these three processes: alpha emission, beta emission, and gamma emission. And these particles associated with these rays are called the alpha rays, beta rays, and gamma rays, or alpha particle, beta particle. Now, what are alpha particle or alpha decay? So, alpha decay is basically when you have an unstable nucleus, which we say as a parent nucleus X. When it undergoes alpha decay, the, the daughter nucleus will have a reduction of mass number by 4 and atomic number by 2. That means when an alpha particle, when, an, uh, when this uh, unstable nucleus undergoes alpha emission, there is a release of alpha particle. So for a beta emission, basically beta emission means two times beta negative decay, beta positive decay. So when there is a beta decay, either it's a conversion of neutron to proton or proton to neutron. So in, in general, when you have an unstable nucleus, say X, and it converts to, uh, converts to a um, daughter nuclei Y by beta decay or beta emission process, then the <coughs> atomic number reduces by one. So that's a beta decay. Gamma decay generally, when you have when an unstable nucleus undergoes alpha decay or beta decay, then that daughter nucleus remains in an energy level with a high excited state or high energy. So to bring that high energy daughter nucleus to a stable or ground state nucleus, sometimes electromagnetic waves or photon has been is is radiated to uh, to transit to the ground state or normal state and that process or emission of photons is called the gamma decay. So in general speaking, in for a gamma decay, there is no change in atomic number or mass number. So in this lecture, this lecture will, we will continue with the um, laws of radioactivity in the next lecture. Thank you so much.